this timing. Oh, awesome. Both thumbs up. Welcome to Wikispeed Stand Up for today's date, whatever it is. We're in early April 2015. Maybe second, something like that. Um, <laughs> thanks, Chris. Thumbs up. In the last week, I uh, updated the CAD of the chassis for NW3FT, which uh, is a concept idea for no well three feet. It's um, stands for three feet in width. It has to do with the least expensive use of uh, components that we can buy off the shelf and components we can make ourselves. And um, what type of vehicle does that result in? So it's uh, intended to be the highest level of capability for the spend is the experiment. And I've been playing with that in CAD. So I updated that. And I did create a uh, NACA airfoil shaped um, canopy mold uh, in CAD out of, uh, to, to be made out of carbon if we were to make it. Um, and I did have a discussion with CAPS transmission. And I did research um, OEM transmissions from General Motors and uh, Ford also that were inexpensive and the rear assemblies that would mate to them, rear wheels from companies like Moser and, uh, or, or sorry, rear differentials and axles from companies like Moser, um, and uh, priced the components to make a active rear differential uh, with electric motors left and right that takes a parent, probably gasoline motor, as a generator and created a, a cost breakdown for that versus a standard mechanical differential to say for the advantages of that layout, which can also be four wheel drive independent vectoring per wheel, which is interesting and fun and nerdy. And the cool thing is easy to iterate because once that hardware is in place, which is not trivial, but once it's in place, it's uh, just software deploys and very much change. And I, I, I suspect enhance driving capability in, in all weather which would be a cool thing to do. So diving down that road in research and cost feasibility. Um, what else did I do last week? I did some work with Milo Wing in the shop, uh, but it was very brief and I can't think of what it was. Well, that, that's some of what I got to do last week anyway. And I may have done an update on the website in terms of content. I don't recall if that was last week or a little bit before. We'll see. Um, this coming week, I hope to update a blog on the Wikispeed website congratulating EduScrum on their uh, Global Summit 2015 and uh, yeah, and uh, linking to the little video clip that uh, they've requested I make for them. Put that in, uh, link, link to that from the blog post, which should let more people know how broad an initiative I wish this to be and we wish this to be. Um, so we'll see. And uh, tonight in the shop, I'll be playing with uh, the first bolt together chassis that was completed. I think it was last Thursday. It was done by Tyler Folsom and Milo Wayne. Um, I'll be uh, prototyping two rear suspension components and uh, making a list of the relays needed to finish prototyping the next engine module. I think we have all the parts, maybe everything, except just some relays. Uh, and we might have another engine running, which would be pretty cool to experiment with in that chassis. So I'll try to do that tonight. Yeah, it could be could be awesome. Uh, then in the next week, I'm also here part of Sunday. I don't fly anywhere until Monday. So on Sunday, I hope to do some some pruning and grooming in the Wikispeed food forest because this is attempting to be a full-on sustainable initiative as close to it as we can get. Uh, if energy is limited, it goes towards cars because, well, that's where my passion is. But whenever there's more energy and time, it, it goes to all the other sustainable activities around that idea. Um, I'll try to also finish up the CAD for the windshield on the NACA airfoil. And that's been tough because uh, getting curved windshield to, to fit a rounded airfoil is a $10,000 mold proposition and then a minimum order of, I don't know, at least 10 windshields at a few grand a piece, something like that. The cost comes down if you make like a hundred, but in prototyping, it's pretty high. 
So we're left with flat windshields, which are really cheap, you know, like a hundred bucks. So how to go from a flat shape at the front of a round aerodynamic thing, rounded aerodynamic, a teardrop, a three-dimensional teardrop, how to get a flat shape at the front and then uh, pad it so that there's a smooth transition without disrupting airflow too much to the rounded shape is uh, something I'm up against right now. And it's totally been solved before. I'm trying to figure out how to solve it. I'd love help if people know how to loft using geometric design well. Like Rob Morbacher does, but I know he's busy. Um, but I'll try to do that maybe on Sunday. And then I had an idea on the flight back on how to reduce the weight of that next generation idea thing even a little more. So I'll, I'll work on that in CAD. Our frame right now is two stacked rectangles joined by uh, 12 inch tall pillars, I guess we could call them. Uh, I had an idea that could work. They use this just one set. And it changes the way the suspension attaches, which, well, that'd be a new iteration of the contracts. But I, I thought I might play with it in CAD because I'm excited about it and it's fun. Also, the weather is getting just right for composites. So we'll uh, hopefully have CAD ready to make molds, I hope, on a regular basis all summer because it's, it's composite o'clock here in Seattle. Um, and it's super fun to do. So uh, in terms of blocks, I wish I knew better how to transition from a flat front to a rounded 3D teardrop shape for aerodynamic purposes. That'd be pretty awesome. I haven't heard back from SADEV transmission. So if I infinitely had help getting able to, getting more people to help me get a hold of them would be nice. Um, I could totally use like everyone in the world, uh, plenty of person power to help me pull out the Hemlian Blackberry that's coming up in the Wiki Speed Pool Forest. I mean, I'll make some headway on it, but there's just a lot. Um, so <laughs> that, that, that's, I, 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 that's an impediment. Another one, um, I need some help on the Washington State Vehicle Manufacturers form. They updated their law for us to be a Washington State Vehicle Manufacturer, and I could use some help getting that done. So that's, that's an opportunity. And, oh, WikiSpeed Federal Taxes are totally overdue and uh my wife was helping me by filing an extension but i totally need help rocking out wiki speeds federal taxes um that's probably the number one one i don't know why i didn't think to say that first yeah everything else is small stuff just opportunity things are looking pretty awesome actually through this summer and uh that culminates i hope in us releasing a new, less expensive, more capable vehicle model for sale as soon as possible. And if I was really lucky, it would, it would happen during the summer. Wouldn't that be cool? So that's where uh, a lot of what I'm doing and a lot of what I see in the Linwood shop are focusing. Um, and the web support that has happened and the emails flowing across the team on cameras to share what's happening in each workshop, that type of thing, are totally in support of that, which is awesome and a half. Um, those are the blocks. Then uh, retrospective for me, gosh, 10 and 10. I've been super busy with my day job, but I've still found time to do some aspects of Wikispeed that I think are propelling towards the goal of an even better, even cheaper customer available car. Um, so I, I feel great that I'm able to participate at that level, even when I'm really active in my primary job. Um, and the team, I see a regular cadence of emails that with absolutely insightful stuff. And I got to say, Chris Wallace, since you've plugged in, our web presence has been so much more reliable, robust, and useful. It's ridiculous. So I hope to make use of that by putting something really uh, attention grabbing in the Wikispeed store as soon as responsible. And that's a less expensive. Even more durable, more efficient, more safe thing people can actually buy and drive. Um, to make use of that awesome stable web platform that you basically created, and maintained, which is completely for the win. Uh, that's what I've got. That's everything I've got. Chris, would you like to go next? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> hey, I just wanted to first ask that. Um, if I caught that correctly. So when y'all just built um, chassis eight, that's bolt together, correct? 
Yeah, that's right. It's the first completed. We've had little prototypes to validate as long as maybe a year ago, but it's the first complete chassis. And Milo weighed it too. So our welded chassis are right about 124 pounds. That's the weight of the first one. And they've all been close. This one was uh, like 202. So significantly heavier, but at the exchange of no risk of weld failure, because there's no welds and no dependency on certified aluminum welders or the massive amounts of energy it takes to bond those metals together. So it's even, I, I think, more environmentally friendly. And still amazingly light. Yeah, oh yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Right. But I think there's opportunity. The braces we use to connect the tubes, they've got a lot of unstressed material, I think. I haven't done FEA, but just looking at them, it looks like there's a lot of unstressed material. So even as flat 2D parts, if we put circles, like maybe some light lighting circles where the parts aren't stressed, uh, I think we can get some of that weight back. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I'll go ahead and kick off. A lot of clicking. Okay. Uh, so for um, last week, and actually maybe this can help remove a couple of your blocks, uh, I set up a Wikispeed master backlog on Carica, and I will try to demo kind of what that means. And Carica. Okay, so previously we created a Wikispeed online team board for the people that are remote, don't have a particular shop to be a part of, and often show up at this, uh, this stand-up meeting. Um, so if you look over here on the left-hand side, and I hope everybody can see this, um, the backlog of this board has a few things in it. So Carica has a feature where you can create a master backlog, and it's actually a completely separate board, which unfortunately I cannot pull up right now because I didn't give myself access to it. I, I created it under Joe's account. But that board can be used as the backlog for any other board that it's available to, shared to by a counter or, or whatever. Um, so if you look at the backlog here, and we go over to the Linwood board, because these are the two I've set it up on so far, uh, they're identical. And I probably should have done that in backwards order to make more sense, but because uh, these actually need to go on the online board. So if I move these tasks over, To the board that's going to be working on them you can look on the take a little bit longer because it has to update but you can see that that backlog immediately was updated so what it allows is a, a, a master backlog so that all teams using their own backlogs have a common backlog to pull from um, uh, the only thing i could think that would maybe improve that is maybe creating a note it, it, there's no way to tell which backlog it went to um, so somebody who created that item may not know who finished it or what state it's in. So maybe creating another, copying the ticket or I'm sorry, copying the card and moving it over or something. But, um, but either way that, that at least allows a, a common area. And I think, let me keep this pulled up cause I think oh, it's further down the list, but uh, no, okay. There it is. Um, so I also created a, a, what I would call a permanent Google hangout link. Uh, which basically I set it for like uh, January 18th of 2038 as a event scheduled way out there. And what that does is make the event always available to be opened. And I put that in the master backlog. So if anybody happens to be working on something and they want to pair up remotely, they can jump into this card. And of course, I can't click on the link because it'll it'll kill this hangout. But you, you click on this link and it gets you into a, a shared hangout. And I think that's all I need to be sharing, so let me stop that. Okay. Um, what else did I do? So I uploaded uh, the Accelerator Extension demo to uh, the Wikispeed YouTube account. I had previously had it uploaded to mine. And it was well, uh, it's the only way I could get my phone to do it. It was a little bit of an ordeal getting it moved over, but that, that is done now. So at least want to mark that off. Um, I've been working a lot on the join the team form, um, just to kind of remind from last week's, um, backlog, uh, I, we basically ended up with a situation where a 
apparently occasionally when people would submit the form we wouldn't get anything and they wouldn't get anything and there was no indication that like basically it was just completely blocked as spam or whatever and uh, so there may be a, it seems like the percentage is high that it was working but there's maybe a few people that tried to join the team that were, were, were not able to um, so it, upon finding that out uh, the first thing I did was on the page that uh, the join the team form is on to create basically a link saying, Hey, if you didn't get a, a like a message back from this, uh, just click on this link, print, print it out and scan it in and email it to us. Like, like old school, the old, the old way that the forms were submitted, um, at least to mitigate the problem going forward. Uh, so that, again, that was, that was last week. And then the other thing is I switched over how the emails were being submitted. Um, most of the issue is, GoDaddy and Gmail don't play well when it comes to form submissions. Um, so I ended up using Google's um, developer API to, to I, man, I'd almost call it wizardry. It uses like a HTTP to send the email out. And it works great. But, and I'll get to that, there actually is a, a little, uh, an issue with it. So, okay. I, I'm getting myself out of order here. Okay, so I added, um, in addition to that, so I added a plugin that captures the into the uh, WordPress database uh, anytime somebody submits to the form. So whether or not we receive the email, we're at least getting the submission to the form so we have something to compare to. Um, okay, and, uh, so the, the new email plugin, it's... It, it's it seems to work completely consistently now. So like all emails that are submitted come in. The one problem with it is in order to get it to work, like uh, the from address when it comes in actually looks like it's from info at wikispeed.com, which breaks the automatic response because it thinks it's from itself and why would it reply to that? Uh, oddly enough, if you hit reply manually, it, it knows the right address because those are all settings in this in this uh, email submission thing. Um, so you can hit reply manually and pick the canned response and do it, but that adds some technical debt where someone has to be in, involved in going back and manually sending people information, which is what we were trying to get away from. But all the emails show up. So um, in that uh, in, in that idea, I, th this next week, and I'll actually skip out of my, the order I wrote it down, but this next week I need to decide what the most important features are for this because I need to decide whether it's okay to have a few emails that will come into the email box but they're backed up by in the database and can be checked periodically um, or if it's more important for the emails to show up and we have to manually send the, the information to the new team member. I, I would suspect that uh, losing a few and being able to compare the database is more important but I need to think about that. Um, so uh, again that's for, for next week and uh, I plan on um, adding the accelerator extension to the website store which was a block from last week I totally forgot to take a picture of that thing after I built it so when it gets back to the Linwood shop if somebody could take a picture of it that looks good on the website store that would be awesome uh, and I plan on, on uh, testing and tuning the FM stereo transmitter which I, the only reason I haven't done it yet is I didn't have the correct adapter cable um, which a buddy of mine just picked up for me at a discount store so I need to meet up with him this week and uh, you know have dinner and a beer and, and get that cable and uh, actually, I think I mentioned the blocks in those things. So uh, retrospective for me, um, let's see, like maybe an eight-ish, maybe on the upper side of an eight-ish and a 9.99 for the team. Everybody's doing super awesome. An eight-ish thousand for you, <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Um, and uh, I actually I actually wrote down two process improvements this week, maybe to make up for last week. Uh one is uh, maybe more use in the local shops or just everyone in Carica, and hopefully the changes I made with the master backlog will make that easier. Uh, one of the reasons we did it originally is because the Linwood Carica board gets bogged down with people that are in the Linwood shop, so it can't match what the Linwood shop's doing. So hopefully this can 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 help out with that some. Um, my, my second process improvement may be a little knee-jerk reaction, Probably not since I thought this for a long time, though, but that 
maybe we should think about moving in the website hosting away from GoDaddy because part of all these issues I'm trying to solve is just one particular thing that GoDaddy do, does with uh, how they send emails. And it's something that Gmail does not like. Um, there would be a lot of, uh, of work and details involved in that, but it might be worth looking into to get around trying to deal with all of these little little pieces of the problem and just fix well, it. And not that it not that it costs so much, but our uh, GoDaddy domain is up for renewal in like the next 30 days. So now is a good time to think about it seriously and see where we would switch to instead. FYI. So one thing that um, I still have access to and still run on my previous uh, IT support company is uh, like a like a web hosting company that I still maintain and. Um, it's like a, it's like a, what would you call a cPanel reseller account? So I, I have available accounts on that and would not have a problem donating a hosting account to Wikispeed for it. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, it is a share. I, I don't know that I've verified completely, you know, the, the reliability of it, but I know that particularly it doesn't have some of the same issues with these email forms that GoDaddy has. And, uh, you know, I can provide unlimited space and uh, unlimited emails or whatever is needed for that. It can also register the domains and all those type of things. Um, That's totally possible. A primary need for me is that it's maintained by someone that's being paid to maintain it. Okay. Because, um, uh, how, how can I say this? When we're on a team member's server, it's totally awesome when they're pumped, but then they go on vacation or day job gets busy. And so uh, that, that, that's been the upside of GoDaddy is GoDaddy maintains their servers for us. But uh, if there's a solution with that level of support, but uh, removing the that particular issue that is making email much more difficult than it should be, I'm, I'm a big fan of Okay, uh, I'll I'll probably talk to you off offline about this because if with that being the preference, there's probably a better option, which is it's actually I think it's actually cheaper than GoDaddy, but it's using the web hosting company that I'm using as my reseller account uh, that uses cPanel, and so that that may actually be the be the best route right there. And that way, yeah, uh, the, they're always available support, but you are correct if if you have to email me and you know. I may have to, you know, if I have to relay things on, that is a block. So, um, oh, and actually, I guess I guess that's that's done with the essential ceremonies there. I do have a couple of general discussion items that uh, I wanted to talk about that you brought up, though. I, I'm a fan. Maybe now's the right time. Okay. So, folks who are watching this video, that was all the scrum ceremonies. That's complete. Now, general banter. Uh, yeah, Chris, what's up? I wrote a few things down here. So first off is um, what's up with the Geo Magic Design license? Did we figure out how to get those available and distributed? I know we got renewed for like an amazing, awesome amount of time because they're super yeah. awesome. But uh, is it yeah, is there an is. easy way to get those licenses now? Yeah, there is. Um, uh, let me see if I remember how. Uh, they changed their registration model. Um, when they were bought by 3D Systems and then better and then better integrated with 3D Systems, and I don't remember what it is. I don't remember if it's an email and password, or if it's one ID and we just use the same install ID on said machine. I don't remember. But uh, if what you're saying is that you're ready to experiment with one, we've got ten. Um, and if that's true, then what it is is just for me to look in my mail and find whatever it is and send it to you. Because I don't, I don't remember. I think it's an ID, and we can just use it ten times. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The challenge with that is I don't know how we track who's using it. So in all ten are used, I right. I I mean we can just try to remember and see if everyone self reports. But I think that's what it is, though. I think it's an install ID. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that would that would help me move forward with some some things that seemed more important to me several months ago with the, this. Uh, Wikispeed curriculum and things like that, where I wanted to start getting access to the CAD and making some sort which, of a curriculum out of it. Which would be so completely awesome. Right. So I'm, I am absolutely a fan of that. Um, so I'll skip that one. 
Oh, I was going to say the the couple blocks you mentioned about the Washington State, um, I guess, automotive forms and the federal taxes. If you'll make cards yes. in Karake on that and drop it in the Linwood back um, log, that'll be available at least to the two backlogs that are using it so far. And hopefully, as I can give this information to more people, it'll be available to all the Wikispeed backlogs. So maybe anybody that's interested in that can grab it. That's an awesome idea, Chris. I'm a fan of that as well. And... I don't know. Did you see any of my emails about uh, me looking into Earth Day? Yes. Okay. I thought it was the best idea ever. I don't think I replied, though. I, I should uh, caveat and say, yeah, my work has been super awesomely busy. <laughs> it's great to have a busy spring. But, I mean, yeah, it's been pretty intense. So I've had to prioritize uh, more aggressively than I normally would like. So I don't think I replied to that email. Shame on me, because I was interested. I think it's the neatest idea ever. Is that like in 10 days or something it is uh i want to you know again i'm saying this is for the second time i didn't look it up again and figure out what the date was i want to say it's more like the 20 i want to say it's at the end of april but i need to verify this Still. immediately so we will know yeah um, but, it, but it is soon okay it is very soon and uh, there were a couple of things in that email about I, what pricing would have to be paid to be an exhibitor um, based on if they would actually classify us as a nonprofit or not. But my real question was, is this is this something that is interesting to Wikispeed as a company, and is it something that's feasible? Uh, because I, I, I really just put that email up there as a placeholder to see if somebody was interested. If there's no interest, I, I obviously won't spend a lot of time on it, but if there is interest, I'll find out all of these details like tomorrow <laughs> and see what we can do. Question. Yeah, um, there is cost involved, and there's definitely getting the car shipped to Texas again. As uh, we we've discussed in the past, that's not an inexpensive endeavor. What um, we need to do, Chris, is uh, set up a shop in Texas. Absolutely. <laughs> so we can have stuff. Did, did, did you know about Yoan and the car in San Francisco? Yes, yes, we yeah we discussed that. Like it just it just kind of got vanished. Because of well, mistakes. It's going down today. And so johan has been paid by the team New Zealand and me. Mm -hmm. um, and just take, took that money, apparently, and made a transfer, but let it expire and didn't communicate to anybody. And, and didn't pick the car up. crushed tomorrow morning. So it's just a, a, a lot of people put awesome effort in, and then it became less than yeah, he nothing. Was just, he just was lazy. Right. Then, and yeah. Right. The, and to the tune of I don't know about fifteen hundred dollars. Well, yeah, that, well that was I think the fifteen hundred dollars was the shipping alone. I mean, plus the parts, if I remember the details correctly. It yeah, is upsetting. It's just it's getting crushed tomorrow morning because nobody can get down to the shipping dock. I mean, it's been like a year. Yeah. Sitting there, yeah. and I've been there to pick it up. And he's like, no, I'll get it. So, so interest. So let me be super honest, and instead of saying no, I'll get it here. Saying, I do. I am not interested in spending the uh, funds to ship a car to Texas just for the expo. Right. Um, that said, is an awesome idea, and I wonder what the baby version of that is. You know what the frugal implementation might be, and we should get a shop in Texas because we've got cars and chassis to put places. For example, the one in San Fran. Um, so it's a three-day event. Right, and I don't know how we would do this, but should we go raw material and start building a chassis right here for Texas at that well, event? It's, it's not a bad idea. So the raw aluminum. If they'll let us the build line. inside the expo center, that's question number one, of course. Are we are we displaying or are we showing how awesome everything is? <laughs> that's totally awesome. <laughs> well, so the super light lift one is to see if we can be part of their promotional activities and have one of their emails include one of our time lapses of a build party. And then have a description under it saying why this matters to Earth Day, that we're an ultra-efficient brand uh, that's fed by community involvement. I will say last year when I was there that the people were getting rides in Teslas on the outside part of the venue. So I, mean, I think that, totally that, that awesome. should, I think they would be okay with, awesome happening at the event as long as they're prepared for it right uh, the funds that i've got right now and i haven't checked with these balance this month but they're pretty much 
all earmarked towards engine modules for delivery. Um, blah, blah, blah. If we found a sponsor in Texas, it's a no-brainer. Um, uh, I'm I'm attempting to trim projects right now to finish some of the coolest ones. Um, my opinion is I, I'm not prepared to put money to that. But what I would do is like I just planted actually Milo planted almost all of them about 200 trees. What I would do is like plant a tree in a one minute video and talk about why that's awesome and how Wikispeed is attempting to be carbon consumption positive, carbon emissions negative, that type of thing. Um, Cause that's almost free. But uh, in terms of shipping or materials, basically anything over a hundred bucks, we should probably see who can sponsor it. How, how about uh, this? Wikispeed has some money, but I, I think it probably needs to be aimed at engines. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. How about this as sort of a, an alternative to the idea of Earth Day is that it doesn't have to be in Texas. There's not a Wikispeed car anywhere close to Texas. Earth Day is everywhere. So if there's one in Seattle, maybe we should have a car there. If there's one in Maryland, maybe we should have a car there because that's where the cars already are. Um, I mean, it's, it's idea. right. I mean, it doesn't have to be here. I, I was just going to make myself available to be at the event the whole time, but there's way more, we can speed. Awesome. <laughs> but there's way more, we can speed members out there that may be able to do that and may have cars available. So uh, may, maybe, maybe the, get you a car, Chris, right. Well, that I, I'm working on that too. And it's, it's seeming like it's becoming more feasible, uh, as the days progress. So I've been working on it the whole time since I joined the team, but it's 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 looking like it's actually attainable now. So we are I am working on it. I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah, but that's the solution. We just need to get you a car. Right. And then we have uh, team wiki speed members with their cars each make a Facebook post and like all the other team members with cars. Right. And have little clips of them doing ultra efficient driving. <laughs> and uh, raise awareness that way that uh, people can have a whole lot of fun motoring around with ultra efficiency and a high level of safety. Absolutely. Uh, that's our wish, right? Oh. So let's see if we can't raise awareness on that. And at a really low cost, I, I'm a huge fan of what Tesla is doing too. But the transaction price is right around 100K. Right. And that's totally cool. But what does everybody else do? Right? So let's well, Plus, it, if you want to be a maker, it's hard to interact with your Tesla. It's, yes. Uh, encrypted code. They do really cool stuff all the time. I mean, it's an amazing platform, but it's not for makers or tinkerers. It's not set up that way. It's a closed garden. Um, so, yeah, maybe, maybe there's still ample opportunity for a group like us, even though yeah. Tesla is really cool. Yeah. So our, our goal is the even more open, awesome Tesla, <laughs> right? Yeah, I like that. I yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, and I want to say that Tesla's goal with the latest um, edition of their car is more like a thirty thousand dollar car. I think that's their goal. Uh, they want to have the same features as the. And I should know more about what all their models are called. But, <laughs> but I want to say that their latest, their goal is right around the thirty thousand dollar mark. Try to make it a little more attainable. And uh, which is a huge step forward. Absolutely. But uh, they've been talking about that for oh gosh. The whole time. Um, almost a decade. <laughs> um, and I think it will happen, right? But, uh, but let's do something now. Yes. I, and, and I'll totally be pumped when it comes out. In fact, I'll seriously take a look at one. Absolutely. Um, but uh, it could be next year. It could not. It could be not for another five or eight or maybe even ten years. So let's, yeah. And I want to help them stay motivated by providing viable competition. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So there was the Earth Day topic, and I said, ah, oh, yeah, let's do the free version. And you <laughs> said, oh, well, okay. Uh, so there was that. Uh, and there's probably more planning to, I mean, there's probably more doing. For, uh, like I said, I'll look into the details yeah. to make sure I know exactly when it is and what the requirements are and try to get a little discussion going on that. And uh, then we'll figure out what the most agile way to make it awesome is, right? I'm a fan of that. Yeah. Uh, and then did you have another item? 
Um, one more. This is probably just a personal item. I can jump on any time. It's just uh, the, when I was looking into Google AdWords, I uh, signed yeah. in as one of the Wikispeed accounts, but they asked a couple of banking questions I didn't know the answer to. So one day, completely oh. at your convenience, if we can just pair up and knock that out, uh, that would be cool. What time is it now? Uh, eight. Uh, it's 8.45 here. What does that make it? 6.45 where you're at? Yeah, yeah. That means I have 15 minutes until I need to be in the shop. Okay. If you I, want to disconnect from the recording, yeah, absolutely. you can rock that out. Like Abs try to solve it. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that wraps it up for me on the discussion, too. So, yeah, this will be a perfect time to wrap up the recording, and then let's jump on that. I think you're awesome, Chris. Okay, do you have my cell phone to just call me right back when you're ready? Uh, let me... Yeah, my phone's charging up. Let me boot it up here. <laughs> but yes, I, I yeah, oh, I can totally call you. Back. Or or you can just or you can just Google Hangouts me back. Yeah, so actually, back. actually, we can stay on. When I kill the recording, this will just still be available. We can do it right here. Okay.